Hi, uh, welcome to our CMSA system. This version is free. You can download from Facebook and try to implement your application. But before you implement it to your application, you need to know a few things here. We have two tables, log t, user t. Log t contains the information of you, each user logged on the system, the date and time, and the attempt status, that means logged or not logged. So the minus one, that means the user is logged, is zero, is not logged. So you need also the user table, which contain the user ID, user name, password, user level, default picture, in case you have picture, and log option to lock down the user to, able to prevent them from logging to the system. So if those two table, uh, you can just uh, modify uh, the, the field name, but be careful, the function here, there are a few functions here, so you need to change the, the field name in those function too, otherwise you're going to enter into a trouble, mm -hmm. okay, or just leave the field name as it is, uh, then implement your application and use the same field column name if you don't know how to change the column name in the function. So that is the first point. The second point is the, to explain to you the logic. The logic is each user will set the timer here, set user timer set log it it will come to the log t and set the status of the user that's mean the main menu is opened by a user in cage so let me show you an example before I explain everything user 6 I will say uh, unlock user 6 to stop the timer because I can simulate the login of each user this is the main menu so I will simulate now saying user 3 is logged so you will see that in our CMS the user 6 will lose its uh, blue color and then the user 3 get the blue color that means the user 3 is logged because the first time it was user 6 logged so if I select click the user 3 I can see the information of the user if I want to set the user 3 level uh, login status to false like uh, uh, lock the user so you will see that a timer will display here. To show to the user 3, you need to log out from the system. The admin uh, push the button unlock, uh, lock user. Then you have to, uh, how to call, log out from the system. So if I say lock user, user 3, then automatically, I will wait 6 to 7 seconds, the other user on the network will see the timer displaying on his front uh, main menu. And other user will not see because the admin just set the user 3 uh, to to log out from the system and never get uh, be able to get in it again uh, the system because his status on this and the login is locked so they cannot log in again until you unlock them again on the right side here so if I want to turn off the server entirely itself uh, this will set the use the user T okay the admin Status to lock option to minus one. That means if the admin is locked, that means everybody should get out from the system. So the server is according to the admin status. <laughs> Sorry. So if I set turn off the server, that means everybody, not only the user three, will see the timer. This timer will be showing to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Okay. So if I set back the status of the server on, that the, the timer is still on because the user 3 uh, is set to log out. So the timer will, will return again, will go on and go on and go on because I removed the code from the timer to say do command quit. So there is a code, we comment the code which will be do command quit if this, the, the counter is a zero. So for the video purpose, we comment that code to do not exit the application so here is the system so the blue line here is not uh, something else is just a line okay just a line those are just a button okay so here is also a button this is just a, a line also but uh, we place a line on the image on the server image so uh, the status of the server will be set with a function the function will set the color of the server to green to blue sorry if the server is logged in. If the server 
is uh, out of line is disconnected the red color will be starting flashing so all the user and the line the pipe here become gray to show that the server is not longer online those three buttons have nothing there is no code behind the, the three button see this is the maybe for the next update you will set uh, if you click here you will see those who has uh, admin level this is uh, those who has accounting level and those who have uh, the reception level okay so just that and then here there are uh, two button okay showing uh, see that did not use a small here but if you open it will become big that is simple uh, uh, column and coding as you see stretch or voila, straight down or across so if you on the the menu will be bigger according to your screen as you see so this is uh, the same as how it work if I want to on the server I will on the server then I will set the login status of uh, maybe the admin to say is admin login so I come to the CMS uh, within seven seconds or six seconds we will see the user tree is gone the admin become blue that means the admin is locked so if I click user 8 is locked right now because it's red color I said unlock so the user 8 is unlocked and then if I come to the menu I double click I will be able to see the user 8 here because this combo box I filtered it uh, to show only the, the user who has uh, zero on the lock option okay so that is very simple so the code behind is a simple as i said very simple so you just need to go track the code and see uh, how we build it so you see the user the server online status is equal to the admin status id1 okay so if the admin uh, is accessible the id line of the id the users the admin is uh, accessible from the user t i mean so the system will say the server is online otherwise the server is uh, uh, offline is user logged to check whether the user is logged or what so the function is here so you need to, if you will change this uh, column name in the table you need to change the gross column name too okay it's a simple decant and uh, and deal lookup okay very simple code but the technique uh, is a little bit maybe complex for you for the first time so you need to watch this video again and again and again and to understand each step so if there are form timers there are the main menu there are cms form also so the cms if i launch the cms we see that the cms launch those two forms okay the, the the this this guy here timer log cleaner so it will come to this table and clean everything to zero then the the other one timer set log we set it to minus one according to each user login so it's it's continuing like a, a loop okay the timer cleaner clean up the timer set log it will set the log of each user connected simple clear and uh, perfect okay now is that you understand how to use it you can uh, go to the design view and check everything this is a button also which will be following each button clicked the function behind the click here is a pickup user okay you can check the function pickup user to see what the pickup you pick up user is doing if i click user 4 that button jump out here and round the user simple so if I click any user, so you will see the information about the user. You can set also, you can type something about the user. Okay, you can type something, I can do everything. Also see uh, the login information of uh, uh, the user. Okay, so this is the CMS system. You can uh, try to implement your application or make a copy on the side. Try to manipulate until you understand and implement your application. Thank you and have a nice weekend.